This is the shit I live for. Welcome into a one life operation here on Squad Ops. We've got War Pig today. I'm B Car, gonna be giving you guys commentary for what's going down. Who day? New operation. New operation is good operation. Uh, potentially. We'll just say that. Uh, we're going to be on Baz Al Basra rescuing a tank. Yes, there is a tank. In a uh, one life operation. Uh, and it's potentially operational. Uh, we'll get to that here in just a second. Four Pigs, a rescue operation. Starting from U.S. Maine on Al Basra, uh, there's going to be a uh, attempt to rescue a tank stuck in the middle of Al Basra. This tank is uh, not movable, and there has been a makeshift uh, fence set up around it with some sandbags, waiting for the engineers to arrive. The U.S. mission is to roll up with all the uh, all the engineers that they can. Once the engineers get in range, the tank becomes operational, and they can move it out to the vehicle checkpoint marked in the center of the map there in green. Uh, once the once the tank gets there, they defend that position until the end of the round. The uh, alternative is INS are able to ambush the tank defense and basically destroy the tank. Uh, an alternative defense location is wherever the wreckage of the tank is. So it will, uh, it will matter to INS to destroy the tank either on the way in a position that benefits them or just destroy it outright. Um, INS for their uh, effort they don't have a lot of they don't have a lot of work with against a tank. Uh, two scouts, two bombers, six lats as their cash for special kits. INS are rolling pretty standard squad. Otherwise, uh, one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one medic per squad. They will have two SPG nine techies to use, and if we have four squads, which it looks like we will, we will see a Dishka techie also in play. The, uh, the red marks on the map are all the potential squad locations where one squad may spawn in. So there's five in and around the city center and then two out west. Meanwhile, U.S. are starting a squad at VCP and they start a... Uh, They start a three-man squad at the tank itself. And everyone else, I believe, starts at main. There's also a uh, special... There's also a ranger squad, uh, which I do believe... I'm trying to see where's the ranger squad starting. I think the ranger squad is actually defending the tank at first. So special kits in play. Lots of lots of kits for the US. Uh, let's go through them all right now. The MPT squad are all crewmen with a max squad size of three. The uh, Caesar squad is going to be the ranger SL kit, two ranger FTLs, two ranger ARs, four ranger medics. Engineer squad is an SL, two FTLs, six engineers. The guys at the VCP are two FTLs, four uh, machine guns, and two medics. And the standard squad is going to be two FTLs, two ARs, one medic, also a platoon potential of two GLs and two LATs. And they're going to have two striker with the crows starting at main. Engineers also have two unarmed strikers for transport. So this is all going to happen pretty quickly here. 
they also they also have uh, a ten uh, on standby. They have two a ten warhound passes potential, and they also have two artillery smoke barrage uh, potential here for U.S. So lots of resources to get the job done. It all really depends on how fast they can get in there to do this. Uh, so let's take a look at the map as we're waiting for everything to sort of cycle in here. I take a look at the map here. Da -da 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 -da. Right, so VCP is here. You can see Squad 5 already starting here. Uh, the tank is going to be down here. You can see Matt Honcho already rolling that thing into position so that everyone else can pick it up. And vehicles exploding already. Great sign. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes. So, basically, east straight out here, hit the main road, and then another turn east, and then south towards the tank. With a very limited number of defenders and the fact that INS are going to be all around this position, it's kind of hard. I imagine we will see some building-to-building -building fires going on. I guess the Rangers is just going to... They're probably just going to hop straight at, hop out of the area of the tank and just roll over here. The tank has is going to have sandbags around it. So they're going to... Um, build sandbags, I believe, on three sides of the tank. They get ten sandbags to build around the tank. There's a big... Looks like there is a briefing going on that I missed. Now, it's free operational weapons-wise. It's going to defend itself. Uh, but since it's mobilized, it's been reinforced with sandbags to protect its sides and to protect its front. Now, our job is to get the engineer squad right here to the tank so they can, uh, well, fix it and then drive the tank out of Basra into the vehicle checkpoints Echo 53 on the fog marker, where squad 5 currently is. Now, we have two objectives. We have holding that VCP so we can extract the tank, and that's going to be Inky squad job to hold it, and we have getting to that tank so we can fix it and get it out. Now, to do that, we have two or three big stages. First, we're going to go to the two markers that have been put down. That's phase line green. Clay is going to be taking point with his armed strikers. They're going to be playing there. They're going to be checking the buildings. They're going to be making sure they don't take contact straight off the bat. When we drive out of main, Clay's squad is the only squad that heads straight off the bat to phase line green. The rest is going to be staying with Inky at VCP. If Clay doesn't take contact, we join him as well on phase line green, and we push the compound Echo 864. If you see the line of red helmets heading west to east, that's the perimeter we're trying to establish. That's where Axis will approach the tank. Ideally, we don't stray from that line. If we get bogged down in the combat in that uh, urban area, it's going to take forever. We just need to secure those two main compounds, Echo 868 and Foxrod 859. If we manage to do that, the tank has a way out, they roll through the buildings, and hopefully we can get back to the VCP unharmed. Now, a couple of rules. Don't drive on roads. The insurgents have complete control over the area. They're going to put down mines and IEDs, and the most obvious points for them are going to be roads. So, don't drive on roads. That's pretty much the only point I can give you. Even then, you can pay attention to what's in front of you. If you see something on the ground, just... Give it the benefit of the doubt and drive around it. Uh, we have two barrages of smoke available and we have an A10 on standby. So FTLs, if you take over from your cells, remember that you have those assets at disposal. Are there any questions? All right, SLs. Wait, so, um, wait, um, yep, quick question. So is the game over if we just get the, uh, if we 
get the Abrams and get it out of there? Do we just win? So there are two scenarios for this. Either the tank gets destroyed and we still try to exfiltrate the uh, combat search and rescue team and the crewmen if they're still alive. The other scenario is... Um, Oh, that's not the scenario. We manage to pull off the mission and we hold up in VCP, in which case the insurgents are most likely going to try to assault the VCP and still try the tech. So once you get to the VCP, keep your eyes open and keep your 360 up because we might still get attacked. Alright, any more questions? Amazing. Yeah, so let's pick them up. You don't have to put them in the vehicles yet, but uh, get ready for life. Wow, that is uh, that is something. And we're live with round one of Operation War Pig. Sorry, this is just cool to watch. Sometimes when the bugs happen, guys, it is super cool. Bro, this is the... Just think about... Bro, I actually kind of want a mod squad to be like... Oh, no. Tank is already in contact. We can't, we can't, uh, we can't watch that anymore. We have to scroll to the tank. They claim contact north of tank. And that's because these guys just crossed the road in the open. So, no casualties that I can tell. There is a little bit of a maneuver game that has to be played here by INS. By INS have to move in such a way to get close without actually getting close. This could be a great distraction play, though. Now, no one's near the tank, so they can just, like, you know, shoot things. But also, they took down all of the, uh... Maybe they didn't take down all the sandbags, but they took down enough so the tank can uh, no, right now we're staying shoot through. I wonder if the overpressure kills Mr. Toaster. Uh, we're engaging one time, to our southeast. Copy. King may have lost a gunner there, and Croc Dundee and Ask Me to Ramp are also dead because they got caught out. The strikers at distance. Causing problems, and that techie, SPG techie, also taking major damage. MGs from the VCP are actually landing shots pretty close. North contact is getting close, but. There is no shot from the SPG yet on the tank. Tank is still whole. Copy. Contacts west of the, the tank. In the suburb. Seeing two mines placed on the map already. And here we go. We're gonna see the we're gonna see the techies roll or sorry the strikers roll in. Some INS are moving towards the tank. And one last take, one last look at the defensive position around the tank before we get starting to get engrossed with some of this action here. They're adding basically one half, one fire team portion in a building. Uh, this is the last it's direction. Like one north. And here we go. The strikers are actually right next to the gas station compound. Copy. All right. Uh, killer hold. Killer hold. Clay, start clearing that out. We're going to see if we can support you. Possible contact right on top of me. We got some dismounts here. Remember, the engineer has to get close to the tank so they can do things. What was that? A lat? Where did that, that ship come from? Probably from the south. Southeast. Crocodile Dundee killed inside the, uh, the building again. You 
grenades being thrown and everything. They have contact to the south of gas station. And it looks like Silas and a fire team are caught out, not able to move. Hart gets killed behind a building here. Get ready once the smoke goes up. Tank is now firing shells. They are scanning for all of the buildings right now to look for these lats. One lat here, one lat here. The closest lats to the area. SPG in the east is now moving to get a firing position. With the... Oh, Minehag could be shot up here. Actually, because he's on the uh, crew turret. Using the uh, the remote weapon system to the most effective possible, Big Red has been hit as U.S. start to crawl through his compound. Here, guys, up here. I'm low. I'm gonna just hold it. Pastito, I think traded with Big Red here. Upstairs, clear. Upstairs, clear. There's a guy here. There's a guy here. There's and guy soup. Let's see, guys. Don't. Oh. Throw nade. That's a good nade. And he's down. Nice throw by Soup. Soup gets perforated from his east. I think that might have been King or Nightmare. It's Nightmare. You kill him? Nightmare got a kill. Killer J. He's dead, bro. I'm getting fired from the east. Tostito has to take over. What a great shot from Nightmare. What's Nightmare using? Oh, he's an MG3. <laughs> Get a reset of action here. Inus getting closer in the north and the east. South is maintaining, but they are pushing south now. U.S. pushing south. There's an IED planted somewhere around here. Smoke is being deployed to try to cover. IED's real close. IED blown. Might have been timed. A timed bomb. Because the there is bombers, and bombers don't have IEDs. Scouts, I do believe, have IEDs, though. The Moon Wolfie is shooting at someone. Not even sure who. It sounded like he was shooting with a pistol. Uh, he's inside this building right now. Probably was a pistol because he has a G3 with a bo with a drum mag and he's looking for the door. So he's looking to try to draw as many people as possible. Jikazuki probably with the shots there. Or JJK. Jikazuki might have just got spotted by the crows on the striker. He's looking for people to shoot right now. I believe he is one of the scouts. Or he could be a bomber, actually. Uh, yeah, he's a bomber. Yeah, scouts have the binox, bombers have the explosives. Striker now also getting a flank on the compound. Moon Wolfie is still in his building, holding out JJK. <laughs> Stop, stop. I'm not sure if that's enemy. Wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, that's wait, wait. enemy. Uh oh. Bot one two three may have just spotted friendlies and called it an enemy. Yep. Here comes TK. Here comes the TK Zupa. Oh, to the right. So I can see the window. Fire, you might be in 
Copy. Yep, there it is. Spot one, two, three. TK's Viper. Copy. So C two, if you are safe right now, you need to bound east. If you're taking casualties, just move to hold. Very cool. Okay. MG three being fired at a position near here. Oh, wait. They are back up. Do you want us to help? Help the engineer. Yeah, we need to help our combat and she's out. We're losing, we we're losing people in our case. We need people. Yeah, we're losing people. That's an aspect. Hey, strikers, can you... Command getting a little, uh... Command energy's up north, please. Command getting a little hectic right now. It looks like they cleared out someone from around here. JJK and Wolf... Uh, the Moon Wolfie's still hanging out. Uh, you're free to mount up. You're gonna be reinforcing the enemy. Time charge place. Inside the building, I don't know how much use- I don't know how useful that's gonna be. I don't think they killed anyone. A couple of INS made the run across the road here and were able to get past the striker. It's kind of a bad news play there. Tank is still intact. The situation at the gas station of Earth. Tank is now using main shells again. RPG attack on the striker was a miss. At point blank range. Oh, and it's running straight towards enemy. Nobody here can do anything about it. They have to hide. Sean is freaking gunned down. He was in a bush. And Lurch has the other RPG tube. He might be trying to go for this other striker here. Looks like engine engineers got inside the striker. And they are pushing towards the tank. Which means the tank is going to be mobile here in a second. This is bad news for INS. INS needed to avoid this. They had all the tools and no success. SPG? Pretty sure there was an SPG shot. SPG shot from the east. Here comes the, uh, SPG techie again. It's getting set up for a shot. They can really just peek this corner forever here. Shot on front armor with the tank. Didn't really do much. RPGs now being fired at the striker. And that one hit pretty well. Looks like a wheel may have gotten damaged there. And the SPG is going to roll around here. Oh, mine hit got out. I think... Why did he get out of the tank? Is it tracked? It is tracked, so they can get out of the tank. So Minehe has to repair this tank. Are you looking at us? Once again, SPG. SPG took a shot and missed. <laughs> RPG close. And, yep, that's it. That's the striker gone. Slothy's got to get out of there. He's burning up. There he goes, gunner down. He didn't get out of the. He didn't get out in time. SPG is making very sh slow but sure work of the defenses around the tank. And RPGs are still firing. Now they're taking a shot at the other striker that is just outside of the. They ditched it after one hit. Coming from. Take 
Three strikers dead to the west. It looked like it was green. Drive right up to the tank, dismount your engineers. Just the engineers have to get to the tank with their dice. Oh, that was bad. MG3 just took out Zobound and Zuba. Pretty sure that was Nightmare with the MG3 there. What a shot. Multiple engineers died at once. For some reason, you just not listening. Alright, get Wild Man and get in that striker and drive to it. Engineers that are left? Wild Man. That's it. If Wild Man doesn't touch the tank, that's it. If Wild Man doesn't touch the tank, the tank is dead. SPG took another shot at the tank. And Wildman is getting hit. MG. MG INS are moving in from the southwest as well. Getting shot from the tower all above. Wildman is the last hope. Is there another engineer? No other engineer that I can see. For whatever reason, Inky threw his vehicle checkpoint guys into the battle. And now they're being... Smoke. Distraction. Yeah, yeah, I see that. North. Wildman has to touch the tank. Can that Soup is trying to give smoke. Hovis is shooting through the smoke, and Hovis just took a round through the building. Doesn't look like he's down, though. Multiple kills! RPG takes out Mr. Toaster and forward. Wildman has to get to the tank now. It is looking dire for US as INS from the southwest now still pushing in. Silas getting hit. Clay J killed as he runs out of the building. It is all up to Wildman now. Wildman has to touch the tank, and he has no chance right now as Silas continues pushing. And once he realizes people are across the street, he's going to try. Multiple smokes now being thrown. Silas is pushing the building Dresden Destroyer down. Wildman making a run for it. And that's it. The tank can move. Yep, I'm going with oh, grenade as well. Grenade. Grenade. Stairs, stairs, stairs. The tank can move. Looks like Silas didn't make it further up the building here. Lurch. Clears the rest of the building. And now they have above. They gotta be able to move that tank now. The tank is still not moving. Oh, it's tracked. They have to repair the tank. The tank is tracked. They never repair the tank. So the tank is definitely stuck. And uh, Inky is the only one left. And the guys that tried to push east. What do you do? Defend the tank and hold. I'm just lost, right? Let's we just kill him. Just team death. Yep. On the roof. I, I guess the crewmen don't have uh, engineer repairs. That's the whole point of the engineer. Rear on shot from Lurch did some damage to the tank there. Tank is still living. Lat rounds at close range. Not going to do it. Scottish getting pinned on the west here. Moon Wolfie is actually in this building. I think Moon might have hurt him. And it definitely happened. Heard him reload and heard him move up the stairs. Soup is the only one close to support the building or the tank right now, which is basically a building. Uh, Soup still here. It looks like Inky is also providing a little bit of a distraction here on the east side. Big guy and Looks like big guy is trying to find big guy and yeah, pliers is dead. Big guy is searching the building solo right now for Inky. It's actually in the next floor here. Inky's trying to find someone to shoot. He's got himself in a nice little corner here. 
Meanwhile, Ines still controlling the tank. Probably see a GG call once everyone outside the tank is called out dead. Uh, so that all depends on soup. Enemies and Inky surviving here. Plier, our big guy, makes it onto the same floor and he's clearing all the buildings. Inky repositions. Just when big guy searches the east side of the building here, is taking his time. Oh, a grenade! And Slayer gets banned. Inky doesn't make it out of the room. Inky, stuck in prone position, didn't have time to move. Soup tries to make a push for it now. Soup is the last infantry of remaining alive. At no way had it in nose position. I think he heard a move. That was sus. No, Inky was in a different position and he moved while um, he was on the same floor. Big guy heard him. I I want to say big guy heard him. We are allowed to move out, okay? Hey, are you guys getting out? Remember, just because there's a lot of noise happening around here doesn't mean people don't have their local sounds turn up to 200% and they can hear footsteps from like 20 meters away. And there it is. Soup is now dead. And the tank is tracked. They don't know it. Frederick has repair kit. Ines must kill the tank, and that is the call. I think Frederick has a repair kit. He is repairing. I'm surprised Frederick didn't uh, die to overpressure there. They've pushed. They're going to need to push up on the tank here. Frederick is defend is all he can do to save himself here. For whatever reason, he can't repair the tank. So now INS must swarm the tank. They're gonna move without the track. They're just getting surrounded now. The tank is now getting past 50% life. They're trying to move. Well tracked, it's not gonna go very well for them. Another shot. Silent is moving in. Ask me to wrap us at the building above. SPG is still up, so possibilities are multiple SPGs, and we're actually seeing one on the west side now. From Utopian, the commander. Minehay gets shot out of the crew position in the tank. So now it's just Gunner and com and the uh, is this the Gunner and the assistant Gunner, I guess. <laughs> they got just Superman from out behind the tank. Very cool. It's just a matter of time. Topian driving the SPG around to try to get a long shot, try to not uh, live here, and I believe that is engine damage, and also the track. No, that wasn't engine damage, that was uh, damage on the radio itself. But both sides are tracked now, so it is just Frederick and Ryan in the tank. The objective for US was to save this tank, and now it looks like the objective for INS is to destroy it. If they can't destroy the tank, it'll be a stalemate eventually. They have to destroy the tank. The order, the order is they have to destroy the tank. Shots being fired here and Lurch runs away. Somehow survives the tank shell. Utopian now soloing an SPG. SPG Techie is free 
five, seven, three. They five, spot seven. the SBG techie, and Utopian gets out of there. It is kind of over for the U.S. here, but... Oh, and Utopian dies as he runs back to the SBG techie and explodes. That's rough. I guess it's now all... Do Ines have... Ines should have supplies. To get killed. Oh wait, Ryan got out of the tank. Freddy got out of the tank. So I guess they're going to abandon the tank now. So that's it. Silent is going to get two kills here and that's it for the round. So US gives up after losing the entire platoon and that's it. GG is called. We are live with round two, Operation Warpig, and everybody ditches the tank immediately to get to the multi-stories. Probably a good call. As long as they're out of the street by the time they uh, get to these buildings. Shots also already being fired from VCP. Maybe shots being fired at VCP. A dash P with an AR here. Looking for a place to bipod. Convoy headed straight through VCP though. MG's in the pillbox is up front looking for things to shoot. And that's definitely happening at a distance here. We cook our here. SPGs are still holding position in the west. So I guess they're waiting for U.S. to commit to an a commit to a uh, direction before we get in here. Ooh, someone got tagged. Bot one two three got almost completely killed there. Right off the gate, command is also the missing. command is also in this front building right here. They are the squad that's holding the front. Against a crows with a zoom, I would have to expect not really wanting to, uh... Loaded. Hurt. Hey, go west. Is the whole convoy going to where we're going? Yes, they're gonna follow us to west. Understood. And we're hearing west is the call. Vamos. So that's all four strikers. The VCP boys have been entirely loaded up here. Nobody in these techies yet, they're holding. The techies are not near the spawn point. I wonder what these guys are doing. I guess they're just waiting. They have eyes. A few pair of binox out here. They're gonna see the strikers rolling, so this is good intel for INS. No mines in play, except for in the far south. Seeing a little bit of indecision here on the route they're going to take. Looks like these mines actually might come into play. A little bit of a uh, miss. on the, the route here. While these guys get set up, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the tank real quick. 
Everybody's up in the towers. I don't hear any shots yet. The tank isn't really taking any shots. Yeah, that. Yeah, I. 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 It's literally all it sounds like. Oh, look at that! Oh shit, we got an insurgent. Two fifty. Oh, in there. We got an insurgent. Get a kill. Predator got shot up. They're all gonna be inside building. They're all inside the buildings now. Shot fired. Viper looks like he's on the roof, or he, yeah, he's Viper's on the roof. Shots now being fired. Frederick gets killed. That's pretty sure that was a squad lead for that element. That's bad. Meanwhile, the strikers are going all the way down south. They're going to bypass the mines for Killer J. Uh, it looks like uh, maybe Frederick wasn't the SL. Killer J is the SL there. Locking position looks good up north. And in the west, they have moved back to the SPG techies. And here are the major dismounts. We're going to see this font on foot, looks like. U.S. making their way across the soccer field here. Major dismounts. We're not going to see anyone rush in, doesn't look like. Killer J also legging it out of that building, having his squad proceed closer on foot. Shots being fired and asked me to wrap in the building all the way up here. I'm getting suppressed. These guys aren't in the best position to help defend this tank, but the tank is pretty much only looking south. Close in, there are... Looks Smoke, like... Red smoke, there's a contact oh. somewhere around there. Yep. I just saw a guy run into the building over at 251. They're getting really close. Viper might be dead soon. Close. I didn't even... Like, I was too busy looking at the high-rise. Fuck. They're right there. 248. Kind of hard to see, but Zuba might be... Uh... <laughs> Looks like a shot can try to get put out here. I don't know if that killed anyone. Striker's now also shooting. Oh, yeah, there's another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. 230, 230, 230. 230 on the second floor. The striker is actually shooting soup from the south. The striker's on the bridge. There we go. Zuba got knocked out. Looks like the round actually went into the building and killed him. See more surges running across. INS not budging. Actually, I lied. They're all coming south now, so they're going to start engaging with the SF in the tower. No, no, friendly, 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 friendly. That's friendly. Friendly uh, under the okay. bridge. Friendly under the bridge. Almost another friendly fire incident for round two. That would have been horrible. The tank just... To the south? Yeah, we like, have friendlies, friendlies coming in south? from the south. Friendlies coming in from the south. Well, if they move up now, they'll be able to enclose these fuckers. They'll be forced to push towards us, in which case we could just light them up. Yeah. INS. SPGs. I'm not sure where that was aimed at. SPGs are shooting at infantry in the open. Matter of fact, we can see the strikers starting to fire back and the SPGs are repositioning. Stationary for too long. Gunner's not dead though. Yeah. SPG trying to get a shot. You can see it in the distance. The striker sees him. Those are really close shots. He's got to shoot. Shot fired, it's off. Reposition. Good call from Hovis to reposition there. Not much of a repositioning yet. Bartok is hunting these guys, that's hilarious. Uh, just not in the same location, so it's not. We're gonna take a pause from that, we're gonna look up north here, as Kugel just got nailed in the top floor of this building, as INS are all around him. 
Where's the medic, bro? Ines trying to go across the street. Looks like they finally got hit. Oh, there's the Dishkateki. Shit, I got popped. A little bit of a cat and mouse game there. Ines still close to the tank. Looks like we got some casualties out west. I think that was a gunner of one of the tankies. Oh, what was that? Smoke. Smoke artillery has been called. Here we go, they're gonna rush the engineers in. No mines on the road, so these guys are gonna be safe to get in. The INS from the southwest have pulled off. Sean is gonna run in and activate the tank. Tank seems to be intact. Now they gotta get the tank out of there. There's the engine startup. That's bad news. Now all US gotta do is get their thing out to VCP and then they can just live while INS have to cross the desert to kill them. More casualties as looks like the SPG techie lost another gunner. Both drivers still up. They're trying to use the south map edge to try to get around. RPG? That was Bartok shooting the RPG at that thing. They're having problems. They're going to get caught out here in the open. Inky has to bandage. Bartok is just running at this thing. Hold on a second. The tank will move eventually. And it's getting close, but they don't really have a way to stop the tank unless they get a good shot on it. Ryan is just running the rabbit. Bartok going to take a shot at it? He is. It's a miss. They're going to keep chasing the one vehicle. The second one is now coming into view. Frag around. Needs to hit. Oh, and Bartok leans around and slings a rocket straight at Inky and Xandros. It's probably one of the most dirtiest RPG shots you'll ever see in the game. Ryan B is effectively done because he has no gunner. A second round of artillery now being thrown here as the tank has been dug out. Wildman actually runs up to the radio and misses the tank. And that's it. The effective objective is one for US. Now they have to exfil everyone. And the problem is they have a squad of SF. The unarmed striker is coming in to pick them up. These guys are not in position to get out though. Wonder how long until the unarmed striker gets shot at and it might happen pretty quick here. Can't back up the whole way. Cookie. Use the smoke, use the smoke. Thanks. Silent gets run over. This Probably side. saved. Thank you, bro. Thank God. This thing's a fucking bullet magnet, man. It's gonna be an RPG magnet here in a second. What is what is INS doing? They have Daleks. Yeah, come on, three. He's trying to find a way to shoot this thing. Load up, load up, load up. Load up. He has no idea. Charlie, let's go. How much of a kill this would be if he got a rear shot with an RPG. You, JJ, I swear to fuck. Maybe if you didn't park in front of the enemy on this corner. RPG goes in as a miss. Oh, JJ's yeah. dead. Go, 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 go. And that might actually save this entire squad here. Where's the re where's the follow-up? But he, he chose the wrong side. I mean, where's the follow-up? Northwest side. RP <laughs> Wildman is just standing right there next to the unarmed striker. They need to make this shot. They need to make a shot. I blame, I blame the driver. I did not see the guys in the building in front of us. 
and U.S. have outplayed INS round two of Warpig. 12 kills to two. No problem, Suda. No shit talk. No shit talk, boys. I don't know what the objective is now. Looks like they're getting reorganized here. They got to get to the VCP. So the U.S. objective is to get to the VCP. And if INS get there first, that's going to be a problem. Not much of a problem, though, because U.S. has a tank. Oh, wait, did they drive over mine? I think they drove over a mine. They got trapped. <laughs> Any NGs? So the mine here actually was in play. The tank drove over the mine and it got double tracked. There we go. It's been repaired. Looks like Minor inconvenience. Tank smoke. We've been I mean, well, in the one that's gonna get blown up first. No, no, no. no. And INS are just streaming towards the northwest side of the city. What are they gonna do? The unarmed striker with all the SF are first. Let's see if there's a good shot here. There's definitely a chance to make this happen, and it has to happen now to even any sort of playing field. INS are holding inside the city. Alright, for my defense, I didn't see shit in that smoke. I just pulled up to the closed door I saw. <laughs> Nobody's taking a shot at it. No SPG available for INS. I'm gonna dismount you guys on the north side just in case this is occupied. They're gonna see the tank here, and they're gonna realize it is time to cross the field and die. One of the strikers sees contact behind them. If I was the tank, I think I just... I guess you have to drive to the VCP. Tank gets shot at and missed by about five meters overhead. And there's the call. Inus must attack v the, the vehicle point. Vehicle checkpoint. Yo, sir. And everyone makes their run across the <laughs> the desert now. <laughs> Most of INS is still behind, but uh, there's still two more strikers to make it an unarmed and an armed. Oh, yep, that's bad. He's gonna move the truck. They're gonna park that tank somewhere where it can't be really shot. Inus have to cross the field. I think it is time for strikers to roll in and do damage. So the tank is actually going to provide fire support here. Nice. Command is gone for di for Inus. It is now Lemmings to the VCP, and uh, it's time to sit back and enjoy some long-range marksmanship. Joe Bound killed as he peeks. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see who gets the closest. Right now, Wildman looks like he's winning. RPG's being slung. There goes a shot in. Dashby eats a piece of that, but he's not down. And a second point has been added to the west here in these abandoned structures. Anyone that doesn't make it is going to get shot by these guys. Anyone that can't get shot by the VCP is going to get shot by these guys, at the very least. More shots going in. I think the tank has a, <laughs> has a high likelihood of running out of rounds. Google got hit pretty hard. He bandages, but he's down below past 25% health. Another shot in. RPG nails the VCP, but doesn't 
but only causes two injuries. Wild man kills drop kugel. RPGs now being fired at distance. Bartok is just lobbing ET4 from his position. And that is how everything went pear shaped for INS. So we'll be chilling here for a minute. A 10 gun run inbound. Dresden Destroyer gets gunned down by a striker. A10 gun run probably kills bot one, two, three. No. Doesn't. Looks like only three bombs dropped. Shouldn't be sitting in that tower. Yeah, Kugel, you kind of, uh, you're kind of riding pretty high there after completely wrecking INS. Only five kills for INS so far. They have to cross this field. Wildman is still alive. The closest that anyone has gotten is Wildman right now. And he's being pecked at very slowly by, I think, your, ni uh, your nightmare. Wildman has a chance to peek up here and get your nightmare, but I don't think he's going to live very long if he does it. Oh, they have a techie in play. Yes. Techie's not going to do anything, but it can kill people. Wildman is shooting back at King. He's in the tower now. <laughs> Coax from what? On to wild man. And there you go. RPG or something killed wild man. I don't think it was an RPG. RPG missed high. Second gun run on the uh, Oasis there. We're just going to wait for forward and fuck UT to find their way west. Oh, look at this. There's even... Wait, are they building something over here? Yeah, the engineers have gotten into the fight now. They have transported themselves east and they're building sandbags to defend the east flank. <laughs> Daleks goes down. Sean on woke mode here. Uh, toaster and cousin. That's all they can really do. Uh, for some reason, I think forward may have thrown the vehicle into the water. Yes, forward has thrown the techie into the river and he can't cross it. So forward needs to get out of the vehicle. He's not going to be able to get it out of the vehicle. He's not going to be able to get it out of the water. Would have been a smart play to uh, bring the techie into the action here. Moonrock is dead. Uh, looks like only five INS remain in the city. Vuck and Forward are still out of action here. Forward still trying to drive. Looks like he's finally getting some traction. I guess the admins are going to let him bring the vehicle back. <laughs> he gets pushed back down because of the hill. The slope on the very edge is, you can kind of tell from here, the slope on the very edge of the bank here is pretty steep. And it's not giving them traction he needs. Oh, the, the it's IED truck. That's what they wanted to do. And they drove it into the river like... Yeah, it might be able to use that rock to get some traction here if they can get some forward momentum. I think the vehicle is going to die. If it gets pushed back down, it's going to take damage. He's got to try to drive it to his left, I think, is the only way he gets out of there. 
Ines, meanwhile, far east side, getting <laughs> destroyed as Elvito and Dark Prometheus push the three men that were over here and Silas. Uh, so now it's just Bus Driver Man, Stan, and Slayer, along with the IED debacle. Shot being fired. What if he resets the Vic? No, if he resets the Vic, it gets thrown into the river 100%. I I think the vehicle's not it shouldn't even be allowed in play. Yep, and there he goes. Forward dies. Vehicle drowns. And it's just gonna be Vuck QD on foot. They may have tried to rotate it. They may have tried to rotate it there, but yeah, it's it wasn't gonna. It wasn't gonna happen. Inus. Now down to three, as friendly fire now becomes a serious problem. CP. Commands it if I look at it. Oh, I missed it. Orange. Six one now <laughs> firing at something. Flankers, they would have to go through that field south. Bus driver man stand firing from his position here. I think you have to call it at a certain point. Oh, no, the, no, no, the, uh, the unarmed striker is rolling. <laughs> Either this kind of time or the one. This kind of time, yes. saw one, saw one. Saw one, the right one or the left? The one on the, the right, the northern one. Okay. The one in this one. All right, here we go. Silas, Elvito, Dark Prometheus. Out here. Buck is gonna try to get closer. And before we see some TKs. Oh, El Bus Driver Man Stan has the front of the compound covered. Yeah, so he has cover. Yeah, he's inside the house side of the window. Silas jumped the wall. One of you guys suppress it, I can get a C4 on it. I'm trying to suppress them, right? Oh, here comes the armed. Oh, Slayer's gonna get some kills. One. He goes outside. Two. And then shot in the back. Bus driver man standing now dead. C4, C4, watch out. He's dead. Everyone's dead. C4. C4. Hmm. And I think Vuck has also been uncovered here. Uh, let's see if the C4 gets any TK here. Any C4 TK? Vuck is still trying to live here. Uh, yep, no TK for the C4. Vuck is making his way towards the uh, west flank position. I guess this is called a blocking position, technically. They're just walking in the, the field right now. Buck has a little bit more deflate before he gets into it again. And uh, looks like Dolph might have his uh, number here. Nashville also shooting. Shot's getting pretty close. He just stands there and takes it. And that is going to be it for Warpig. Round two complete with a massive U.S. victory.